Today we are going to create our edit systems uh, using coding nighter and uh, with Ajax. So uh, we have uh, our CRUD controller. We have a single controller named CRUD. Make sure we keep our we keep our coding nighter setup inside our CRUD Ajax directory and make sure I am using XAMPP. So that's why uh, I am telling you that because uh, I have a XAMPP installed my C drive. So I have local host with 8090 port. Make sure I am using more than one server in my local environment. So that's why I am uh, using 8090 port. So don't worry. It's your local host. It's a directory where uh, I keep my I keep my file, all my coding data file inside this directory. And I have a single controller name CRUD from our uh, first lecture till now so now we, you have three fields one submit button and uh, in the index method make sure whenever you want to hit your controller or you want to access your controller your index met method automatically executed so now you have three fields one submit button and you have your data which is coming from your database so now go to your CRUD controller and uh, we are fetching our data from our mod model and we are uh, saving our this data which is coming from our model and in associative array and make sure we are loading a single view which is home and uh, we are sending our data from our view so here you can see we are receiving our data here and we are uh, fetching our data one by one using for each loop and make sure i am using result that's why i'm saying please bring me the result uh, in in the object format so that's why uh, i'm using result so now you can create a field th edit and here you can see you can create a button anchor sorry not button and it's we are not sending this edit system to anywhere so that's why i'm saying sorry i'm saying please javascript wide that means i'm saying i'm not sending this uh, anchor to any anywhere okay so now we have a javascript wide sections i can say i have a data text and uh, i'm saying that i have a text id and i'm defining a class which is edit make sure uh, it's your choice xyz you can keep your name xyz and whatever you want to uh, create your class or you want to keep that class name so in this fields i'm saying uh I'm saying this encryption encrypt okay so now I'm passing my ID which is std ID inside my encrypt method make sure we are using encrypt encryptions class provided by coding nighter and make sure before using any class any helper and any library you must load that library before using so we are using our library here we are not loading our library before using so now you can go your controller which is crud refresh your page so now it, it it should say undefined property loader encryption so that's why this is giving encryptions encrypt so now go uh, open your autoload.php file and make sure you have your autoload.php file you can keep this library to autoload make sure i am saying encryption load this file or set this file to auto load so that's why you can call anywhere so now go to your controller refresh the page so now it's saying okay fine it's saying fine but why because we have we have a td or td okay so now you have a edit section okay go to your controller refresh the page you have your okay why 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 
because we are not starting td so td start td close refresh the page so now it's working fine so and make sure one thing before encrypting anything you can inspect element uh, now you can see data text is empty why it's empty because go to your uh, config.php file we have not you can see encryption key is empty so that's why it's showing this so you can pass the encrypt in encryption key or you can create your encryption key here and uh, so uh, save the page or config.php file go to your controller refresh the page so now you can see you have your uh, encryptions id so you can see here is your encryptions id and now you have once you are in encryptions id you can set this id here because we are going to do something that's why we need this id so you have a data text inside this section and you have a id so id is 15 and your id is encrypted here so you can see in every field right click inspect element you can see here is 14 uh, uh, id and you can see here is your encryption key so now uh, i can say whenever someone hit the edit buttons i'm going to fetch i'm checking this information from the database and i am i'm going to show this informations inside some text or some fields and uh, your user can uh, your user will edit this sections and uh, we are going to update this area as well so now you have your uh, go to your custom.js file and make sure you can i can zoom out oh here is document ready i'm saying that whenever someone click just a second i'm going to explain what's going on i'm saying whenever someone click this class so fetch the current make sure i'm saying this data this data and i'm saying text I can store this variable text create this variables and you can store this data inside this variables and uh, I'm cloning this and I'm saying fetch the ID as well and I'm saying this is ID okay so now you can print this in, in the console console.log either it's coming or not okay so now i have a text and plus i'm saying this this is the id and go to your controller refresh the page so now you can click on the console sections and edit your okay control f5 you can press the control f5 because we are deleting some cookies edit uh click on the edit sections you can see we have a uh, we are we are fetching this current encrypted key and this id make sure encrypted text and this id we are fetching this encrypted text and this id make sure you can also check this uh, like this if the fields are empty you can pass some errors here but i am not checking this because it's working fine okay so now i can call the ajax so here is your ajax systems and i'm saying the type of the type this is the type which is the post type this is the post type and i'm saying what is the url okay i'm saying surl so here is your SURL and I'm saying please go to the CRUD controller and a functions check user okay so I'm saying okay so now uh, 
comma separate you can uh, because we are sending some data which data we are sending this data make sure comma separated which data text in the text field okay comma separate id in the id field okay so now we are at the type post and we are sending from uh, to this url data this so now i'm saying success so here is response and i'm saying this is the success response and this is the error response i'm saying that console dot log print the error print the error here okay so now and here you can here you can console dot log and you can i'm showing this in the console field so now go to your this crud controller so you are in the crud controller and uh, you you have to create your this method and i'm saying this is method and because we are receiving some parameter first of all we we have to check either it's the ajax request or not so copy this field and check here i'm saying if the uh, it's coming from the ajax request you can say redirect here redirect here and oh, sorry if it's not the ajax request you can check you can print the message here or you can redirect here so message here redirect here otherwise you can receive your data which is coming from your ajax request this input uh, and i'm saying post because we are sending the data in the post so i'm saying this is text make sure this is text and uh, i'm keeping this inside the associative array and uh, make sure go to your local host sections and hit your php my admin sections because we have a database name and we have a table name so just a second okay uh, so now it's a coding nighter crud with ajax so here is your uh, database and here is your student table so now you have student table as make sure we have student tables so i'm saying st st id and uh, so it's tricky we are not storing we are fetching our id here but we are not storing our id here so uh, no need to uh, fetch this id because we are we are going to work this id in our uh, front end section not back end because we are sending the encrypted or encrypted id in the text field uh, because in the text variable so now you have your encrypted encrypted id here so now first of all you can decrypt here because we are going to check this id from the database so this encryptions decrypt make sure we are going to decrypt this id here this id here and we are saving this id 
in the same associative array field first of all so check this by calling your uh, model i'm saying this and uh, we have a model name mod crud and i'm saying check user okay and i'm sending the associative array in this field make sure go to your crud mode crud model and you can write your okay we are going to create because we are sending associative array so that's why we are receiving associative array here so now i'm saying this db get where make sure we are uh, it, it takes two parameters first is tables name second is associative array so we are sending the associative array from our controller so that's why i am receiving the associative array here so what is the name of your table this is the name of your table make sure i am saying that return this method and i am saying return me the uh, in the form of array so i am saying re oh, array array result make sure array result so go to your method go to your controller make sure and check check out either it's coming or not so that's why i'm saying store this inside the variables uh, i'm saying my result and i'm saying if the count because it's coming as a, a associative array so i'm saying uh, if my result count equals to one i am echoing that working otherwise you can say echo not found it's totally depend upon you how you are coding how uh, you are logic how can you create your logics so i'm saying if the record is found echo the working echo the string which is working otherwise say not working make sure we are sending we are calling ajax okay we are sending our two fields which which is we are receiving from our html content and uh, if the if we have if we have the success ajax call so we are response here so we are saying console.log so in the controller in the crud controller we are receiving the ajax request okay we are checking the ajax if the ajax request is occur so we are receiving our text field which is encrypted id and we are decrypting here and we are keeping in the same associative array which is data and this is the field this is the column name this field must match with your column name tables column name because coding nighter use the orm tool which is object relational mapping so that's why your this field must match with your database tables column so we are sending this data to our model which is uh, mod crud and this method and in the model we are creating our query and we are saying please bring me the result as a associative array so your result is coming from your model we are keeping those results or that result inside my this variable and we are checking if the result is one echo out this otherwise this so go to your controller refresh the page because uh, we have just writes our javascript code so now you can add it it's a it's saying 500 internal error because something went wrong inside our script okay so now i'm saying encryption decrypt data and uh, you can check out this if you are debugging make sure i'm saying die you can debug like this i'm saying id okay so now okay 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 just a second before doing this you can check either uh, the text field is coming or not okay so now you can 
die this script and you can echo this out okay so now go to your page and added this section so now it's saying 15 make sure this code is working fine so now you can check the model i'm saying this bot card check user so here is your data we are sending our data and we are receiving our data here so return array result so, okay it's not array results this is the result array okay it's my mistake so now go to your page edit the sections it's saying working fine so now you have successfully receiving your content so now once you are receiving your content you can say echo json encode and you can pass this variable inside your json encode section make sure you are receiving your associative array and you um, because that that is the associative array and you are converting that associative array into the json format make sure you are echoing from your controller and because you you are receiving here so before receiving this you can say here is your uh, uh, obj object because you are saying json dot parse json dot parse and you are saying please parse this response please because we are sending in the json format we are converting our associative array php associative array into the json format and uh, you can you are receiving the json format here so now you are parsing that json format into the object okay so now you have your object here so you can console this console.log you can print out here so now because we have changed our javascript go to your controller refresh the page so now you can edit that sections it's saying at this position one why parsing json not decode json encode make sure json encode go to your page now added these sections so now it's you are successfully receiving your one object so here is your one object make sure your object is available inside the array so you have a array so you can see here is your array array so in the zero index you have one whole object so now you are successfully fetching that data from your controller and you are showing that data in the console field and in the next lecture we are going to create our dynamic fields uh, like this three fields and we are saving or we are showing this name and uh, email and password in that field which we are going to create in, in the next lecture we will further discuss about this so thank you for watching